Welcome to the Science of Effective Scene Lighting. I'm your host, Sam Massa. In the fire service, a lot of fixtures are advertised as a certain number of lumens. And most firemen would be under the assumption that if you've got a 10,000 lumen fixture from one manufacturer and a 10,000 lumen fixture from the other manufacturer, that they should effectively both produce the same light output. But a lot of times there's a lot more detail that goes into the light output advertisement that's really important for a firefighter to understand. We're gonna talk about lumens, lux, and foot candles and help relate those to the fire service to help you understand really what the quantification of each of those different terms means. The term lumens basically refers to the amount of light that's produced at the source. It doesn't really tell you how well the light fixture is going to perform, but it tells you like raw horsepower, how much light can this fixture produce? If you could take a fishing net and throw it over the top of a light fixture and capture all of the light coming off of it, it doesn't really matter where it's going, lumens tells you the total volume at the source. Lux is a measurement of light on target where you're working. And lux and foot candles are interchangeable terms that are just imperial versus metric, kind of like millimeters and inches. When you look at lux, lux can be measured with a meter and it measures the amount of light actually at a specific point on the fire scene. And so really with lux, you can't say this fixture makes 10 lux because it depends on how high the fixture is, where the fixture is angled, the type of optics, and then where the measurement device is as well. Think about flowing water through a hand line. Flowing water and lighting technology are actually very similar. So gallons per minute is very similar to lumens, where if you think about having a charged hand line and you're flowing say 200 gallons a minute, that flow of water is like having your lumens. It doesn't really tell you where the water is going, it just tells you that it's flowing. If you have a straight stream nozzle on the end of that thing, all of the flow ends up in a specific spot on the fire ground. Similarly with lighting, the total flow is your lumens and lux on target depends on the optics. So if you've got all of your light going in one specific area, that would be like a spotlight. If you have all of your light going into lots of areas, you may cover the whole fire scene and that would be like having a full fog pattern. So lighting and water flow are very similar and you have to think about where you need the water when you're fighting fire and where you need the light when you're trying to illuminate the fire ground. A few years ago, we started talking about lumens as two different numbers. There's raw lumens and effective lumens. And essentially what we're talking about is raw lumens being a mathematical equation. It's a calculation of the number of LEDs in the housing multiplied by what the LED chip manufacturer recommends that each LED should produce in a perfect world. So imagine if you had a fixture with 20 1000 lumen rated LEDs, you could call that a 20,000 raw lumen fixture. Now what happens in the real world is we have the effect of the temperature of the circuit, the optic loss where the light has to pass through a medium and that keeps some of the light stuck at the source. We also have things like electrical inefficiencies, thermal inefficiencies. So when you look at all the factors that detract from the amount of light that the chip manufacturer says it should produce, that's the effective lumens and that can be measured in a machine called a Gonio photometer. In summary, light output is either measured or it's calculated. And when you're looking at trying to compare between different fixtures, it's best to rely on measured light output. Not every manufacturer will publish their measured light output, but if you ask for effective lumens measured in a Gonio photometer, that should be the same across all manufacturers testing each other's fixtures.